country they call the Monero is tough. When the winds are blowing, temperatures plummet well below freezing. Julie Johnson, Wendy's neighbor, runs an Angus stud. It's the same mysterious story here. Many of these animals are living more than twice their normal lifespan, still producing offspring at 18 or 19 years of age. What's more, there's an extraordinarily high number of multiple births. When you get to having as many twins as we've had in cattle, that really is an unusual thing. Solving the mystery could be significant for all of us. The biochemistry of old age in cattle is much the same as in humans. Finding out what keeps these cattle alive could give us all a longer lease of life. In the nation's capital, Canberra, in a small anonymous building belonging to the Department of Health, months were spent testing and probing samples. Usually after samples are taken, scientific theories are made public, but in this case, the mystery only deepens. The scientists won't talk. Oh, I think they're keeping things pretty quiet. One of the most plausible explanations floating around and seems to be in the water. All of Wendy's uh, stock are fed from spring water, which come from some deep down in the ground. The water table is getting lower, and uh, whether that's a factor or not, um, I don't know. Millions of years ago, volcanic eruptions covered this area with basalt, lava rocks rich in minerals. Local springs contain a chemical cocktail of calcium, magnesium, iron, sodium and potassium. All our water supply on the, on the place is um, from underground springs. They've served generations of long-living sheep and cattle, but not local families. They've tried to run it into their homesteads, but the water is so loaded with minerals, it destroys the pump pumps and the pipes. If the water is the key, the scientists aren't letting on. There was something in the water which conferred longevity um, on animals that may well be applicable to human beings or, or other types of animals. But if the cows have discovered a magical elixir of life, they're not alone. Wendy and Julie also run sheep on their Monaro properties. It seems that they too are also living long and fertile lives, and some of these ewes are 17 years old. When, and if, the scientists release their results, we may finally discover the magic of the Monaro, and maybe, just maybe, the elusive secret to a long and healthy life. It was a terrible crime to leave those animals behind, especially after all the devotion to duty. We ran out on the, our allies, is what we did. She knew what she was supposed to do, and she walked out front fearlessly and did her job. It said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.